How to make a parole lantern with Google SketchUp. I've just loaded it. It's in its 3D view. I'm going to go to top view. So I'm clicking the little house here. Next, I need a five-sided figure since a parole is a five-pointed star. The triangle up here is what we need. So I click and then click and well this is six sided so that's the default obviously so I'm right clicking on the edge entity info and you get this little dialog right here which uh, notice says six segments so we switch it to five and hit enter now we got a five sided figure I accidentally made another one I'll delete it up here okay so now we got five sides. Let's make it level so that this lower piece is level. So I'm going to make a little line beneath. Uh, there's probably a better way to do this. I'm a beginner at SketchUp. Uh, select the five-sided guy. Move the five-sided guy so he's in contact with the line, which is the right alignment. Select rotate. Rotate from this point. Rotate down. There. So just erase the extra lines. So we've got a five-sided figure. Next, we need to set the size of this figure. So I'm going to make a 10-inch parole lantern. So I wish for it to be 10 inches from there. Here, I'll zoom this in. There. I want it to be 10 inches from here to here with the tape manager, uh, tape measure. Notice that um, after doing the measure, it says 24. 25 inches over here. Uh, I want 10 inches. So I'm just going to type 10 right now. 10 inch. After you measure something, if you punch in a measurement, you can force the measurement to that size. So by hitting yes here, my object is now 10 inches from this point to this point. So that's the size of my parole lantern. Next, I can mark all of the points inside here, just as you would with any star. There. So this would be the shape of the lantern. The reason I drew it, this uh, figure, is it gives me the measurements of the points of contact between the parts. I'm just doing a move of those two line segments, but I have pressed the control key so that it's a copy. Uh, each time I press the control key, notice it alternates back and forth between just moving them. So I let them drop here. I'll go get my tape measure, bring the axis over, and put a couple of guidelines in place. All right. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to figure out how tall to make this thing. So those are, that's the extent of each rib or segment. And these lines in the middle are the points of contact with the other segments. Next, I'd like to set the height or the thickness of my lantern. So I'm just doing a line here of 2.75 inch. So there's my segment. So I'm going to go get the, um, tape measure and draw from here to the center there so that will be the center line of my segment and uh, I can make more guides to show the thickness of the segment uh, delete my test segment so this area in here are it, it shows the dimensions of this of each segment next um, I need to get the arc tool and run it from point to point point of my segment. So this is probably starting to make sense there. Okay. I don't want it to be exactly, exactly pointy. So I'll just draw out uh, one quarter inch here, point two five guideline, another guideline of point two five. Um, point two five inch. 
Uh, so that can be used to help clip off the extra at the end there. So it won't be too sharp uh, at the ends. So uh, I'll do the other side here. Get the eraser, erase the point. Yeah, okay. Um, also, next, so that's the outer outline. Let's um, make an inner uh, feature here uh, to show the inside of the cut. So uh, I'm going to get the move tool here. I'm about to grasp the top here. Notice I can move it up and down. But I'm going to press control key. Oops, it's not working. I don't know what's happening. I'll try again. Oh, I know. Uh, you have to first highlight the segment, then the move tool. Now when we grasp it, notice I'm using the top end point. Notice I can move it down. So I press the control key and I move it down by exactly downward by 0.25 inches. That will be good. We'll do the other side. Click it. Get the move tool. Grasp it. Press control. And uh, it's snapping to quarter inch. That's great. We'll get the eraser now and clean this up on the ends here. And you'll notice it's now looking like an outside the frame. Okay, some more guides. Let's make some guides to make. Um, so we need this quarter here. 0.25. Uh, that's for the um, points of contact between all the segments. Uh, sorry, here I'm on an angle. 0.25. Oops, missed that one. Make sure I'm right on the right tool. Point two five. Point two five. And it's nice to have little holes for hanging them, so I'm going to make another point two five out here. That'll be where I put holes for hanging. Point two five. So let's fill in the lines. So from there to there, there to there. Oh, that was just lovely. Undo that. Try to get on that one. Sometimes the sketchup has got to get really close before it will let you select the point in question. I'm just getting closer and further with the mouse wheel spinning to get these in place. Like so. Uh, now about these uh, circle holes at the end, I need some uh, some more cardboard here. So I'm going to maybe make a circle starting here and maybe bring it out to, that seems like, about 0.5 inches, 0.5, there. So now I have a place for my circle here right on this guide and there's enough cardboard all around it. So, uh, well, uh, here I'll erase this and you'll see where I'm going with this. There, see lots more room. Now I can put a circle here. Perhaps 16 inch like this. 1016 gives an 8 inch circle like so. So let's set the other side up same way. So we started uh, here. We made a, a, a 0.5 circle. We get the eraser, clean it all up. Now I have a nice position. Right there for the uh, eight inch circle. So I'll just punch in one over sixteen, and there it is. Those are holes for hanging. Uh, we better clean up. Uh, oh, uh, just before we do this, I'll uh, erase these points. So now you can see the shape of the segment. Now we need to make some features to attach the segments to each other. Uh, I'm going to assume cardboard is an 8-bit, 
So we're going to put some grooves here. I'm going over here by 1 16th, 1 over 1 6. Same here. 1 over 1, oops. 1 over 1 6. And same feature here. 1 over 1 6. 1 over 1 6. Now, these are the groups grooves that allow the segments to be attached together. And we simply erase the outer outline right there. See, so there's a segment. Uh, the other one's going to be here. We actually need four pieces like this, and then one piece with the second groove down there. So I usually just uh, make uh, one like this, then copy it. And modify it there. So that is one piece. The next uh, uh, piece is going to be made simply by double, cl triple clicking. Go get the move tool, grab the topmost point, start sliding it down, hit Control key, and this is the second part. We need to make a slight modification here. We're going to connect across the top to rejoin that then we're going to draw the new the new groove at the bottom like so now erasing what we don't want we don't want the old groove which consists of these segments up here hope oh, that looks good now uh oh one more erase down here so there's the two parts you need four of this top ones and one of the bottom. They can all connect together to make a star. For better uh, usability or assembly, you can taper uh, this section right here. Um, let's see. So let's maybe set up a guide from the top. Maybe go down to about there. Okay. So we're going to basically taper from here down to there. How much? I don't know. How about one uh, thirty second or one sixty fourth? So get the measure. We're gonna now shift this way by um, one over sixty fourth. That looks all right. Again, this direction by one sixty fourth. One over sixty four. And that's probably enough information for the taper. So we could start a line here and then draw it up to there. Repeating on the other side from here to here. And then erase what we don't want. We don't want that. We don't want that. And we don't want that. So that taper may make them easier to assemble. Just repeat it four times. If you'd like templates to cut out tissue for your lantern, you can take your original template here and make them out of it. Uh, you, uh, if you want a template for the center, double click the center, copy, paste, there's your center template. An arm template, double click, copy, paste. Um, the underarm templates, if you want to run a template for under this arm but above that leg, on the side of the star, slightly trickier. You, you take one of your profiles of a segment, copy paste it down here. Simply uh, join it from here to here, then remove the rest of it to the right, like so. Just delete all that. Delete the inner. Uh, copy and paste this guy, so you got two of them. Resize it, like so, with negative one. That reverses it. Then drag and drop it with the move tool from the top uh, corner and put the corners together. Get your eraser and remove the center. So those three templates are um, exactly the size that you need. You want a bit of overlap for the tissues, so get this tool here called uh, Offset, I guess. You click inside one of them, and you decide how much uh, 
of an outline you want. So I'm going to put in minus uh, 316, 3 over 16, and it draws a line, enter. It draws a line around the outside. Um, you double click the rest because it remembers the last gesture. Uh, next, double click the inside, delete, double click, delete. There, so the, whoopsie, undo that, double click, delete, double click, delete. So those three templates uh, are now ready uh, to go.